A visit from the Warriors earlier in the year inspired more kids in Dunedin to think about having a go at Rugby League. And this weekend they got the chance to get out on the paddock and train like the guys they look up to. The Backyard Modified Have A Go Rugby League Day is the final chapter in an introduction to the sport through TAG Kiwi League, a non-contact version. And it's been a long time since children aged between 10 and 12 have had the chance to play rugby league competitively in this city. This is the, the, sort of the first step to hopefully getting a competition back in Dunedin, uh, a weekly competition and using clubs as well, or clubs or schools. And the boys and girls experience what it's like to train just like the Warriors. They have a warm up, learn about tackling techniques and get to play three games of rugby league on the day. Milne says the kids get to watch league on television and now all they want is a chance to play. It's a great spectator sport but uh, it's still gaining some uh, credibility in terms of, of children playing it and, and the senior comps. To make the day successful, a lot of support from the community and volunteers was needed. And thanks to that help, the day had a carnival atmosphere about it and Milne believes the sport is as popular as ever. Yeah, I see some Parramatta shorts here today, there's some Manly shorts, there's always some Warrior shorts somewhere. Uh, so based on that, it, it's, it's very popular. The children taking part in the day say there's a difference to playing rugby league and tag Kiwi League. That you get to tackle people and you don't have to throw the ball out, you can roll it. It's a fun sport and it's all safe, so in case someone gets injured, it's all supervised. So they're adults everywhere. So I think a rugby league is a good uh, game to play. Every Sunday in June, there'll be rugby league have a go days at the Oval, and it's hoped by next year there'll be enough interest in the sport for this age bracket that a new competition will start next season. D. Karen, 39 Dunedin News.